Okay, Liam, I'd like to show you something now which I call Omega. Okay. Or it could be Omega, because my Greek isn't wonderful. All right. But basically it uses uh, some aces. I've actually got two sets of aces. You don't normally have two sets together. Mm -hmm. But uh, I won't show you this set until later, and you'll see why a bit later on. All right. I just want to uh, think of an ace, and I'm going to place these cards behind my back and try and predict which ace you're going to think of. So I'll place them behind my back, and I'm going to turn one of the aces over as a prediction. So at this stage, you could even change your mind if you like. It may still work. Yeah. Okay. So you're thinking of your ace, yeah? I am, You can yeah. still change your mind. Right. I'm going to put these cards behind my back. For the first time, would you name the ace you're thinking of? Uh, the ace of hearts. Okay, now you can't change your mind. Right. And what I'll try to do now is I'll try and find the ace of hearts in the four cards behind my back. All right. It's very dark. Can't see yeah. what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> yes, I found the ace of hearts. I'm now going to take the ace of hearts out, turn it over, and push it back in again. Right. Let's see if it works, because now, yes, there's the ace of clubs, there's the ace of diamonds, there's the ace of spades. The ace of hearts is the only face down card. Yeah. Quite good, yes? Yeah. Now, don't forget, I made a prediction even before we started. I placed those cards on the table, even before you thought of your ace. That's right, yeah. And uh, I turned a card over, it just happens to be the card you thought of, the ace of hearts, which is astounding, isn't it? That is, yeah. But of the two, which would you say was the most impressive? I think definitely this one. Because they were on the table before we started. That's yeah. right, yeah. Well, I think you'll find that this is even more impressive because over here, you see, the Ace of Spades has a red back. And so does the Ace of Diamonds have a red back. And so does the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. In fact, the Ace of Hearts is the only one with a blue back. If I take the Ace of Hearts like this and rub it on my sleeve, it's possible to erase all the ink. It's completely blank. That was just a joke. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, all those four cards, Liam, can be examined. You can have a look yeah. at them if you like. And they can be examined. Yeah, they're good, they're good, yeah. And what I'll do is I'll just place these just to one side for the moment. I'll come back to these cards because originally you said that this was the most impressive part. Yeah. But you're actually correct because over here the Ace of Hearts has a red back. <laughs> and I was so sure that you would say the Ace of Hearts and that you wouldn't change your mind that I didn't bother to bring the Ace of Diamonds or the Ace of Clubs or even the Ace of Spades. And all those cards can now be examined. I'll take your word for it, Steve. Okay, that's called Amiga. Hey, superb. Thank you.